Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you the Hamilton Beach Flex Brew. I'm going to do an unboxing kind of detailed review. This is brand new in April of 2021. Retails for $90. It's a little hard to find in the stores right now, but I was able to order it off of Walmart.com. So Hamilton Beach already has a Flex Brew out, but this one's a little different. It's got a kind of a different control panel and it's got a water reservoir. Okay, so let's open it up and see what we get on the inside. Okay, so it's a pretty big unit on the inside. I usually recommend laying it on its side and then pulling it out. Yeah, pulling it out worked really easy on its side. You do have an instruction manual. Then you can kind of set it back upright and then take the sides off of this with the cardboard. They should just come right off. Cardboard comes right off, and then you've got this plastic we're going to take off. Be careful that you don't knock the coffee pot out. Okay, so I've got the plastic off. There is a bunch of tape, and there's kind of some foam that's holding the coffee pot in. We're going to remove all this foam up here, and then there's some tape around here on this water reservoir. Okay, so here we've got our first look at this. So it looks really nice, but it looks like a lot of plastic. It does have a basket style. This is the, so it's, it's broken into two parts. You've got a coffee maker side and a K cup side, kind of a single serve side. So let's look at the coffee maker side. Nice big opening to put your water in. Looks like it does take the filter. This does not come with a water filter, but Hamilton Beach does sell a water filter you can put down in there. It's got steps for the water level. There is no sight glass on the side. Very big door that opens up. Over here, we've got, this is the K-cup side. So there's a little latch right here you gotta lift up and it kind of springs up. So you've got the standard K-cup needle, K-cup needle. You've got, this is for the K-cups. Okay, that stays there. Over here, we've got the coffee pot side. That's kind of a standard Hamilton Beach coffee pot, 12 cups. It does have a warming plate, so that does get hot and keep your coffee warm. Over here, we got another brew basket inside this. And this is Hamilton Beach's reusable coffee filter. For over here on this side, when you want to use your own coffee grounds. And it opens up, and you can put two tablespoons of coffee in there and brew a single serve side. So this is for the single serve side. That fits on there okay. It's a little, a little better than the other one. And you can store either one of these, I think, in here. Yep. So it's got an overall black appearance. The other one had a little bit more color on it. This is what one of the main differences is, so there's a water reservoir for the single-serve K-cup side. It's got a lid. It holds 40 ounces maximum. Pretty nice. It's got a nice little handle you can grab onto. So again, overall, looks like we've got some nice buttons and a display. Let's look at the side here. Again, those sight glass. There is cord storage. It looks like the cord... It's a two-prong cord, maybe just about two feet. That's if water, if you overfill the coffee maker side, water will come out there. And there's your water reservoir. So it's got a nice appearance. So side to side's about 11 and a half, almost 12 inches. Front to back is almost exactly the same, about 12 inches front to back. So I get this question a lot, will it fit under a standard kitchen cabinet? No, that's a pretty tall lid. Although on the single serve side, it doesn't get super tall and you can grab the water reservoir on the, on the coffee maker side this lid is pretty pretty tall so it is 23 inches tall and you do kind of have to get it open because you got to be able to pour your water back here and, and do your coffee grounds right here so you do need to kind of get it open but it definitely will not fit under a kitchen cabinet Okay, so I've got it plugged in. The display looks like you got to pick single serve or the coffee pot side. You cannot do both at the same time. Um, the display 
This looks like a brew, you know, brew right now. I don't see any backlighting on the display. I mean, it's easy to read, but I do like to see a little bit of backlighting on that, but I don't see any. You've got some brew strings, bold, regular cup sizes. And then this is for the coffee pot side. We can set the time and we can set a delay brew. So we can brew a pot of coffee to come on in the morning. I'll do a separate video on that. Pretty easy control panel. You got to switch between the single serve side, which is the K-cup side, or the coffee pot side. And again, th this light is on nice and steady. It's flashing in the video. So I always like to look at the box, see what they're, they're promoting. So it is a trio coffee maker. It'll do K-cup and it has that reusable coffee filter so you can use your own coffee grounds and it's got a coffee pot side. So fast brewing. We're gonna see if the single serve side brews in 90 seconds. It's got a, a removable reservoir and wake up ready, easy touch programming. So we'll see how easy it is to program it. On the other side of the box, so again, it talks about you can put a K cup in that one item. And there's this, there's, you, you can use your own coffee grounds and then it, it has a 12 cup. We're gonna measure how tall the travel mug fits. Easy programming with auto shut off, select a brew. Fits a seven inch travel mug, okay. So I am going to divide this video into two. The first part of the video, um, let's do the K-cup side first, and then I'll do the coffee maker side. Now with any new appliance, they want you to run a fresh pot of water through it. So they want you to put, the, I'm going to wash this out with soap and water, wash this, wash this, and I'm going to wash, wash all this with soap and water. And then I'm going to put a fresh pot of water back here and run just water through here without a uh, filter that this is your filter basket so you have to have your filter basket in here but this takes standard 12 cup basket style filters and it's got a nice notch for it to fit in there there's the brew head if you forget to put the brew head it's got this big lever here that moves it for you that's kind of nice so again run a fresh pot of water through here with no coffee grounds and then just dump it out when you're done. And same over here, we're gonna run fresh water through it. But I'm gonna show you how it brews right now. So it does come with a manual. It's got some pretty good instructions inside it. I am gonna do a separate video on how to clean the needles and also how to descale. How to descale this with white vinegar. I'll do a separate video on that. Okay, so let's grab the water reservoir. You just kind of lift up. It's got a nice big detent for it to sit into, and it sits flat. Let's go fill this up to the max line. Okay, so I've got this filled up with water. It's relatively easy to hold, and it just kind of slides right in there. You gotta lift up, then slide it in. It does have this nice lid, it fits on there pretty nice. So we're gonna do a K cup side first. This will take any standard coffee K cup, and you can do cappuccinos or tea K cups or hot chocolate. I'm just gonna do coffee K cups today. If you read on the back, a lot of them don't tell you what to brew it at, but I've found the eight ounces works the best for me. Because typically there's two tablespoons of coffee in a K-cup, and when you run eight ounces through it, it tastes pretty good. So again, we got to put our finger in here and lift this little latch, and then it kind of springs up, and then it's held up. Be careful, there is a sharp needle there and a sharp needle down there. Again, we've got to have this. This is for doing K-cups. And it just sits there and a little detent goes there. You're just going to put your K-cup in. It's going to pierce the bottom when you close the lid. It's going to pierce the top. So just set the K-cup there. And then when I close this, you got to kind of snap it. It should snap close. It pierced the top and the bottom of it. Let's go over here and select single serve sign. Now I can change the cup size. What cup size do I want? There's 8, 10, and 14. So they skip 12. So again, but the little display will show you 8, 10, these are ounces, and 14. That's how much water it's going to run through that K-cup. If you do the 14, make sure you got a big travel mug. Now 14 ounces through a single K-cup, um, that's pretty watered down coffee. So again, I like to do 8. I'm going to do 8. Again, I've got the single serve side selected. That light is on steady. I could do a bold 
or a normal. I'm going to do a regular. And then you just hit the Brew Now button. That light turns red. Okay, so the red light comes on steady. It took some water from the water reservoir. And then it almost starts brewing immediately. I've got some coffee coming out. And this is like a count up timer. It's, or it's gonna count up to eight. So right now it's got one ounce. Let's check the temperature of the water being brewed. Yeah, that's really hot, 185. And so you can see this is counting up, so there's three ounces been brewed. The machine is not very loud. I can hear a water pump, and there's quite a bit of steam coming up, but it's not super loud, and it is relatively quick. We're already to four ounces. We're at five ounces. Six. We're at seven ounces. And again, the machine is not very loud. And we're at eight ounces. And it should be finishing up here. Okay, it's done. But the machine is still working a little bit. I can hear a pump running, that's about it. Okay, now it's done. So this kind of shuts off, that turns off, and now we've got our cup of coffee. Let's see how hot our coffee is. That's pretty good. That's about standard, 167. Yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee. I've done a taste test on this earlier. It tastes really good. It, it's a pretty good K-Cup brewer for doing a single serve uh, cup of coffee. Let's look and see how the K-Cup did. Again, just kind of lift up on this this lever and it should pop open okay so here we have you can take the cake up out using this and you could use this take this over to the trash can and recycle it check out my other videos where I show you how to recycle cake cups but it looks like it did a pretty good job it pierced the bottom of it with that needle and pierced the top of it I don't see any there's just a few coffee grounds around the top but I don't see any coffee grounds that got outside the cake cup you know, I do wish this lid stayed open better. It's come down on me a few times. And there's a really sharp needle right there. So be careful. The lid does want to just kind of come down. And again, there's that sharp needle right there. So, so again, I could change the cup size. I could go to a 10 ounce. A 10 ounce would just run more hot water through there. It, it might taste okay to you. It doesn't to me. It, it seems too watered down at a 10 ounce setting. But now a 14 ounce setting, that's, I, I brew teas at about 12 ounces, but 14 ounces is a lot of water to run through, through a K-cup. And again, K-cups only hold two tablespoons of coffee. So they don't make any bigger K-cups that would fit into here. This is just the standard, I think they call it the 1.0 K-cup. But it's the standard K-cup that they make nowadays. So again, that 14 ounce setting, people... Ask me, can you put a travel mug under here and run 14 ounces through a K-cup? Well, you can, but it is very watered down coffee. Okay, so let's brew using the reusable filter. Now again, this, it's got a very nice O-ring that seals it. And uh, it's got this filter material here. It's kind of like a metal mesh. Now this thing looks really big, but it doesn't hold a ton of coffee. It only holds two tablespoons of coffee. It's got a maximum line that you're not supposed to go above. So it'll take normal drip coffee maker, coffee grounds, ground at a medium grind. That's what the standard grind is for a drip coffee maker. So let's just get our coffee. Let's put it in there. Two tablespoons. So see when you, when you kind of make it level, that's, that's the maximum amount. You know, it would be nice if this thing held a lot more coffee, then that would allow you to maybe brew a 14 ounce into a travel mug. But unfortunately, two tablespoons of coffee, you don't get much coffee out of it. Uh, again, I only brew it at the eight ounce. You might be able to go up to the 10 ounce on this, but so then you just close this, make sure it's closed all the way. That way that O-ring is nice and seated. So again, I'm gonna lift this up. You gotta take this out. That's just for K-cups. Now we're going to put this in and you make sure this tang is kind of down here in this recessed area. 
just close the lid. It should snap. So again, I'm going to come over here. I could select, let's do a bold brew. Let's do eight ounce. I'm going to do eight ounces and I selected bold. I can do a bold brew on the cake upside. And all I do is hit this big button right here. That light turns red. You can hear our water pump kicking on. Make sure I've got enough water. So the, when you've got the bold setting selected, it just brews a little bit longer. It's still at the same temperature. It just takes a little bit longer to brew. Your stream of water going through there is not as, as heavy as it was with the first brew. So again, it's counting down. We're at four ounces, we're at five ounces. It's doing a good job brewing, looks like. And it's finishing up here. It takes about 10 to 20 seconds longer when you do a bold brew. Again, the temperature is still the same. About 165, 167. Okay, so there you have a cup of coffee with your own coffee grounds. Again, we want to lift this up. Did a good job. It kept everything. I don't see any coffee grounds that came out. Clean up on this is, is a little tricky. You got to take the, you got to take this over to the sink and kind of uh, clean it up pretty good. Dump out your coffee grounds first. You don't want coffee grounds down the sink. So one thing to be watchful of is this does not have a low water light. You've got to keep an eye on the water reservoir. It is kind of easy to see from the front. I, I do like that. But you could run this thing dry and it would kind of ruin your coffee if you did that. So just keep an eye on the water reservoir, but I do like that. So say you want to brew into a travel mug, you just got to take this cover off. This is a travel mug and it would it fits in there. It'll do a little bit larger than a seven. It'll do about a seven, it'll do about a seven and a half travel mug. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch gears. We're gonna go over to the coffee pot side. So again, this takes basket style coffee filters, eight to 12 cup basket style coffee filters. You lift the lid up and what we have over here, there's the brew head. You gotta make sure that you have this brew basket in. So you have to have, it's got a little plunger on the bottom and it's gotta be positioned in here just right. There's a little notch right there for it to sit in. You don't wanna get it off to the side. You know, the lid's not gonna close and that's a reason why. So get that notch right there. We're just going to put our paper filter in so it does not come with filters so you have to buy paper filters but it will take a reusable filter you can buy these usually at where you're buying the coffee makers you can use a reusable coffee filter in here i like to brew my coffee with a paper filter it prevents sediment so just make sure the paper filter is hugging the walls so i'm going to brew a full 12 pots i have to regulate how much I want to brew by putting the amount of water in. How much ever water I put back here is how much it's going to brew. And you do have some steps to kind of show you the water level. I would prefer if they had a sight glass here. But so I'm going to do full 12 uh, cups. If I was just going to do six, I would just do six tablespoons. This coffee maker recommends one tablespoon of coffee one tablespoon of coffee per cup you're gonna brew. I'm gonna brew 12, I'm gonna put 12 tablespoons of coffee in here. If I don't like the taste of that, I, can, I can't put any more than 12, but I could put 10 in if I, if I wanted it a little weaker. But if I was gonna brew six cups of coffee, I would put six tablespoons. So you just put your coffee right in the middle there, one. Okay, so I've got my 12 tablespoons of coffee in the filter basket area. I'm gonna move the brew head. Now I gotta fill the coffee pot up to the 12 mark with fresh water. You can use filtered water, bottled water, but they don't recommend distilled water. Do you ever wonder, wonder why um, coffee pots have a hinge lid? I think it's so you can fill them up with water easier. So again, I got my coffee pot filled up to the 12 with water. If I was gonna brew just six cups, I would just fill it up to the six. So now I'm gonna take this, Open the lid. We've got a nice big area to pour it in. That's probably one of the biggest areas I've seen to pour water in. The coffee pot pours really well. Again, you have the steps. 
So we're not quite to the 12 step. I could have gone just a little bit more, but don't overflow it or it will flow out that hole. Close the lid. We're gonna put the coffee pot down here. We're gonna switch this now to cafe. Okay, now this light is on steady. I could, I can do a bold brew or a regular brew on the coffee pot side. I'm gonna do a regular brew and then I'm just gonna hit the start button. It says heat and the red light is on steady. So again, this does have a warming plate. The warming plate's gonna come on and it starts brewing the coffee almost immediately. Again, when I'm using the coffee pot side, I can't brew a single cup. I've got to wait for this to finish. And same over here. If I'm doing a single cup, I can't brew a pot of coffee. So if you want to do your single cup first, that's the fastest, and then do your pot of coffee. Let's lift the lid. So yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. It's boiling that water and sending it over the coffee grounds. This has kind of your standard sound of, of, of heating the water. It's not super loud right now. Okay, so it's been about six minutes. We're at the six cup mark. Let's take a look, see how it's doing. So it's doing a really good job with the coffee grounds. I don't see that it's coming, it's not overflowing. That's about standard, that's about a, a cup a minute. So it does have pause brewing. If I wanted to grab a quick cup of coffee, there is a plunger that comes down. I grab my quick cup of coffee, and then when I put it back, the plunger goes up and it continues the brew. So it's been about 10 minutes. We're at the 10 cup mark. It gets a little loud towards the end. You do get quite a bit more steam, and this, is get, this gets really hot up here. Towards the end, looks like it's doing a really good job with the coffee grounds. It's got a lot of water to go through the filter basket yet. Okay, so that took about 12 minutes. We don't get quite up to the 12 mark because we do lose, lose some water to evaporation. We can see there's what it did with the coffee grounds. You know, the coffee grounds did get pretty high up on one side. Maybe if I had leveled out my coffee grounds before I started it, that might have helped. So the important thing is I don't see any coffee grounds in the coffee. They would be floating at the top. If you had any coffee grounds in there, you'd see them right away. So let's pour, let's see how this do, does. All right, pours pretty good. Then we gotta put it back. Again, the warming plate's gonna stay warm for two hours. Let's check a temperature. Yeah, that's a really hot cup of coffee. I've tried this earlier, it's a really good, this is a very good coffee maker, makes a very good pot of coffee. The red light's gonna stay on for two hours and it's gonna say heat. This is gonna let you know that the warming plate is on. After two hours, it does shut off automatically. That's a nice feature. You're not allowed to change that, but after two hours, it will turn off the heating plate so you won't burn a pot of coffee. I'm not gonna brew a bold setting on the coffee maker side. It just brews it at a little bit slower pace. It takes about three to four minutes longer. I do think it tastes a little bit more bold, but it's really hard for me to tell. Let's go over cleanup. Again, be very careful. This can be hot, but you're just gonna move the brew head out of the way. You can lift this basket up with this little handle. You can take this over to the trash can and dump it out. It's not gonna leak on you because of that plunger there. So if you finish brewing early and you wanna turn the coffee maker off, just go up here and hit that button. That turns the coffee maker off manually. Otherwise, it will turn off after two hours. Let's go over cleanup. This is the filter basket. This is dishwasher safe, top rack, same with this. The lid just snaps off. There's two little ears that you can just snap it on and off. This is all dishwasher safe, top rack. Same with the K-cup. This is a little trickier because it doesn't come apart. Um, I find that I just have to wash this by hand usually. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set time. The coffee maker has to be off. You're gonna hold this set time button. Once you press it once, then it's gonna display the hours and then in the minutes. So I gotta hit it again so that when the hours are flashing, that means I can press this button and it's gonna change the hours. Now it does have an AM and a PM, which is really nice. So it is eight or it's nine and then let it, just let it sit for a minute. Now the minutes are flashing. Now I can hit this time button again. It is nine, 
20 p.m. Now just let it sit. It's going to stop flashing. And now the time is set. So now we want to set the delay brew. I can only set the delay brew on the coffee maker side. I can't, I can't have this program to brew a, a single cup in the morning. So I got to select it over here to the cafe side. I got to hit this brew button. And when I hold in this, this brew, delay brew button, it flashes 1999. So while I'm holding in this delay brew button, I've got to, I've got to hit the set time button. And see how the hours are flashing? Uh, it, it goes really quick. Then it flashes the minute. So start over again. Press and hold the delay brew. The hours are going to flash. Now I got to hurry up and set the. I got to hurry up and press the set time button. What time do I want this to start in the morning? Make sure the AM is lit. I want this to start at six. Now let, just let it sit for a second. Keep holding the, the delay brew. Now the minutes are flashing. Now I can set the minutes. 6.15 a.m. is when I want it to set. Now when I let up on the delay brew, it goes back to normal time. Now i got to press the delay brew one more time. And that green light's going to come on steady. Now i got to make sure i got my water in, my coffee in, and it's ready to go like I was ready to brew a pot of coffee right now. And when I go, it's not flashing, it's on steady. So when I go to bed, make sure that green light is on steady and it's going to start. Now if I want to check it, Press the button, that turns it off. Press it again, you gotta press it. You gotta press and hold it to check the time. So when I press and hold the button, it, it flashes 6.15 a.m. Yeah, that's what I want to do, I let up. And then I press it again, and that light comes on steady. That When I go to bed, I gotta make sure that green light is on. I don't wanna press the on button or anything, that cancels it, that starts a brew right now. So when I wanna do the delay brew, Press and hold the button. There's my time, and I can set it with the set time button. Let up. I gotta press it one more time. That light comes on steady to let me know that it's ready to go. If I wanna do a strength, I can set it now before I go to bed. I can set it to the bold strength or regular. And it'll brew the bold brew when it, that time comes. So while you're in this delay brew, you cannot do a, a K-cup side. It has to stay in the coffee pot side. So if you want to do a single cup really quick, you've got to turn the delay brew off. Now I can switch it over to the delay or the single cup side. But if I want to go to before I go to bed, I got to switch it over to the coffee pot side. Press that once, and it's ready to go. But make sure to make sure my time is set. I would press and hold it. There's the time I want. Yep, that's a good time. And then press it again. People sometimes ask me what wattage, so this is a 1400 watt coffee maker. That's a pretty powerful coffee maker, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Check out my other videos. I'm gonna show you how to descale this. You can run white vinegar through the K-cup side and the coffee maker side to descale it. I'm also gonna do a video on how to clean the needles on the K-cup side. Those can become clogged. So if this machine stops working on you on the K-cup side, it's a good idea to clean those needles. I'm going to do a comparison. So Hamilton Beach has had a flex brew out there for a while. I'm not sure why they made a new one, but this one is a little different. But there's a lot of things that are the same, but uh, mainly the control panel is different. And this one's got a water reservoir. So I'm going to, my next video, I'm going to do a comparison. Side by side, I'm going to have them sit next to each other. And I'll show you um, all the differences and which one you should get. Check out my YouTube channel where I do, I show you how to clean various coffee makers. I do taste tests with different K-cups, different coffees. I buy a lot of stuff um, and review it. So I am going to give this my Just a Dad sticker seal of approval. It does make a very good tasting uh, K-cup side and a coffee maker side. It is only $80. I don't know the longevity of this. Um, I know the first Flex Brew did have some problems, and you'll find those on the internet where it had a leaking tube and stuff, so hopefully they address those. But this is a very nice uh, machine. doesn't fit under a kitchen cabinet. I do love the, the water reservoir. That's very nice. Again, thanks everybody for your support, and if you could, please like and subscribe.